ненавидный в огне Кто читает свои сны Поклоняюсь в темноте Метеоры Tekken 7 is a love letter to this long-running franchise and its staggering complexity, yet somehow it still manages to be accessible to just about anyone wanting to mash buttons, and its huge amount of customization unlocks constantly give you something to strive for beyond its silly and slightly cliched story. In a pretty good time for fighting games, the King of the Iron Fist tournament will not be outdone. On the surface, Tekken 7 is familiar. Its martial arts-inspired combat takes place on three-dimensional stages which allow you to move to your opponent's sides as well as forward and back. Movement is more deliberate and carelessly jumping or dashing can be disastrous. It also includes every Tekken soundtrack ever, on top of the exceptional new one. A brief single-player campaign called the Mishima Saga explores the healthy and emotionally stable relationships within the Mishima clan where sons are obsessed with murdering their fathers and fathers can't help but throw their sons into the nearest lava pit. There's a certain lighthearted charm to the entirely over-the-top nature of Tekken's lore and its embracing of anime tropes. Much like in Injustice 2, it tends to skip between characters a lot, but not quite as frequently. Where Tekken 7's content does not disappoint at all is in its character customization options, which puts it truly into a class unto itself and sets the new standard for letting you express yourself. Cosmetics are modifiable on an unparalleled level, going beyond thousands of individual fashion pieces to include attack effects, colorful auras, portraits and tile backgrounds, and multiple alternate costumes whose top and bottom pieces can be mixed and matched. And it's admirable that Tekken takes a chance by reimagining the visual design for even their most veteran characters. When you see Yoshimitsu wearing armor that looks like it was designed by H.R. Giger, you know you're playing Tekken 7. Underneath the excellent cosmetics, some tweaks have been made to the combat mechanics that should encourage newbies. The movement places more emphasis on spacing at short and middle ranges, which makes it more comfortable to play after Street Fighter or King of Fighters. Careful and expert sidestepping can still open up a party starter, and it also helps characters with traditionally slower sidesteps like King or Paul not feel so disadvantaged in defense. New damage scaling has reduced the amount of damage longer combos do, so you're not punished as severely, but beating an opponent against a wall is still a must. The movement and damage changes are a smart way to encourage people to learn Tekken 7 without sacrificing the complexity that is the series' trademark. Rest assured that this is still pound for pound the most technical fighting game on the planet. Scaling changes mean most of a combo's damage is front-loaded, forcing difficult choices. Do you punish with a down forward 2 leading into a longer combo which will carry you closer to the wall, or do you get in some damage with a shorter combo off an up forward 3? Optimizing performance is a near zen exercising of evaluating conditions, making changes and choices in mere moments, accommodating distance, scaling, positioning health, and even the stages themselves. No other fighting game's master imparting a feeling of each fight growing organically, living and breathing like Tekken does, and Tekken 7 is the best the series has ever been. Perhaps most admirable of all is despite the ultra-demanding execution required to master Electric Wind Godfist, or to visually recognize frame advantage and know the difference between a 12-frame and 14-frame punish, is the fact that Tekken 7 still manages to be something you can pick up, press buttons, and play. Online multiplayer between strong connections is smooth with minimal frame delay, but we've seen some weaker connections drop during matchmaking. Even a few rounds with players from Asia were enjoyable, despite the increased latency. Also, Tekken 7 helpfully allows you to practice in training mode while simulating the delay you would expect at various connection strengths. Tekken 7 truly is a hallmark, a fighting game crafted with obvious affection. It strikes a fine balance between accessibility to series newcomers while retaining much of its technical traditions. The soundtrack is an electronic treat, and while the story can at times seem a bit cliché, the fact that it never takes itself too seriously lets it bring in a tremendous amount of flexible character customization. Tekken 7's dedication to the details helped push it into position to be a contender for the top fighting game of 2017. So far. For more on Tekken 7, check out five of Tekken 7's funniest gear sets, every Rage Art ability, and the first 15 minutes of the campaign. And for more on fighting games, keep it right here on IGN.